Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Summerauer. Let's get right to our top stories this morning, sponsored by Carnegie Heights. Another person connected to the late Tony Shea is suing the tech mogul's estate, seeking close to $7 million. Review Journal's Jen Ah breaks down the main details of the lawsuit. Good morning, Jen. Well, Renee, this time it's his financial manager who's also stated in the lawsuit to be a family friend. Lawyers for Tony Lee filed the lawsuit alleging that Tony Shea, the co-founder of Zappos, agreed to pay him $1.5 million a year for his financial services for five years, which totals to $7.5 million. According to the lawsuit, after Shea passed away, his father and brother took over the estate's finances and suspended Tony Lee's contract. The contract specifically outlined that Shea must buy out of his contract if it is breached for any reason that was without cause. Without cause was narrowly defined as anything outside of Lee's control. So far, we have not heard back from representatives for Shea's estate. Renee? According to police, an airport fee prompted a northern Nevada man to threaten to do some pretty terrible things. 52-year-old Andrew Greco was arrested on Friday after police say he threatened to shoot people and blow up planes at McCarran International Airport. According to investigators, the man was upset because Frontier Airlines wanted to charge him a $55 fee for his carry-on bag. Greco was being held on charges of making a bomb threat and making a threat in an act of terrorism. The man accused in a deadly shooting on the Las Vegas Strip has made his first court appearance Wednesday. 25-year-old Malik Frost is being held without bail. He told a judge that he wanted to hire a lawyer as soon as possible. Frost is accused of fatally shooting one person and injuring another following a fight early Sunday near Las Vegas Boulevard and Harmon Avenue. His next court appearance is scheduled for May 5th. The man once called the most dangerous prisoner in Nevada has died. Patrick McKenna died last week at Spring Valley Hospital. He was 74 years old. A convicted killer and rapist, McKenna spent nearly his adult life behind bars. In 1980, he was sentenced to death for strangling his cellmate at the Clark County Jail. His brother told the Review Journal that McKenna did terrible things, but he also said attending Spring Mountain Youth Camp on Mount Charleston as a teenager completely changed his brother's personality. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability, a small piece of land near Allegiant Stadium that was sold a few months ago has been sold again. The land is slated to get an in and out burger. These are the renderings for that restaurant. A developer bought the land in December for $10.8 million, but that developer has now sold it to a San Francisco family for $12.5 million. Buyers could not be reached for comment, but a broker for the seller said in and out must start paying rent by December. Now let's take a look at your local weather forecast sponsored by One Hour Air. No matter the season, no matter the reason, One Hour Air is here for you. We're heating up this week into the weekend, so get those pools ready. For Thursday's forecast, we're looking at a high of near 90 degrees, light winds. Tonight, clear skies, lows in the upper 60s. For the rest of the week, Friday, we inch closer to 100 degrees, but breezy conditions will pick back up starting Saturday. Gusts could reach as high as 24 miles per hour. Mostly sunny skies, though, temps in the 90s. YouTube lets you show your favorites when you smash that subscribe button down below. In your entertainment news, sponsored by DiscoverYourNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada, the founder of the Electric Daisy Carnival is taking a lot of heat for delaying the festival until the fall. EDC founder Pasquale Rotella faced a lot of questions about moving the Electronic Music Festival from May to September. He said organizers would work with ticket holders who need help changing their flights and hotels, and he cited Clark County's plan to open up events like EDC when 60% of residents are vaccinated against COVID-19. And two of the biggest names in the nightclub business are joining forces. Tau Group Hospitality and Hakkasan Group announced that they will merge their international operations. The companies operate clubs at casinos up and down the Las Vegas Strip, including Omnia at Caesars Palace, Wet Republic at the MGM Grand, and the Liquid Pool Day Club at Aria. There are no plans to rebrand any of the clubs. Sports brought to you by Scenic Brewing Company. I'm here in Cleveland where behind me the stage is set for the first round of the NFL Draft going down tonight. 
As we've been out today, we've been able to speak with a lot of the fans about what we think could happen when the draft comes to Las Vegas in 2022. We've met so many people who have been on multiple trips. They've been to several different drafts and they just love it. The idea on a, on a draft and why people want to be able to go to it because everybody has a chance. Everybody's in a great mood. It's not one-on-one -on -one like you would on a football game. It's every 32 teams has a chance to better themselves. And the fans are in a great atmosphere. And no better atmosphere than Vegas, right? Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. Heading into today's NFL Draft, the Kansas City Chiefs are the 5-1 favorites at the Westgate to win the Super Bowl. Defending champion Tampa Bay is 6-1, followed by the Los Angeles Rams at 10-1. Will the draft shake up any of the top contenders? Follow all the action on our NFL Draft betting blog at LVRJ.com. In your health news, sponsored by 4M Dental Love Your Smile Again, Democrats in the Nevada legislature are trying once again to establish a public health insurance option in the state. Senate Bill 420 has been referred to a committee for hearing. It's backed by Democratic leaders in both the Assembly and the Senate. The bill would let low-income Nevadans buy subsidized insurance through the state health care exchange. Opponents of the proposal call it an unaffordable, government-controlled insurance system. In your lifestyle news, sponsored by Get Healthy Clark County, the National Park Service is looking for volunteers who are handy with a rifle. The volunteers are needed this fall to thin the herd of bison on the northern rim of Grand Canyon National Park. The Park Service says the bison are straining resources at the canyon, and the goal is to reduce their number to under 200 by 2025. Volunteers must be U.S. citizens 18 years or older. They also must be physically fit and have a clean record. And they must pass a marksmanship test. If you'd like to volunteer, visit azbisonstewards.com. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summer Hour. Look, if you have a Roku device, just search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. And we'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. From the Las Vegas Review Journal, thank you for watching. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.